My first guest tonight is a terrifically talented actor, a great big star. He stars in The Millers, which is on Thursday night at 8.30 on CBS. Take a look at this. <laughs> Will Arnett, everybody! Will Arnett! Oh. You're in shape. Exhausted. No. I'm exhausted. No, that was good, dude. I'm Do some I'm, more. With my legs crossed, this is not even an exercise. Wow, look at that. That's amazing. I'm you exhausted. are ripped, girlfriend. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you work out clearly. Um, no, well, I, I, you know, I have. I well, once. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was terrific. You're in good shape, though. I'm in decent shape. Yeah, really? I'm 43, Craig. Wow. Yeah. I would have said 20. <laughs> 20, I would have said 20. 20? Yeah, I would have said 20. 20, 20, 20 or 43 in Canadian. Wow. Yeah. Because the metric thing is yeah, completely that's different, that's, and that's, 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 that's what throws you off. I'm like 12 hectares. 12 hectares? Yeah, I don't know. That, that's a movie I rented yeah. once. Yeah, that's great. 12 hectares? Wow. Yeah, yeah. And then I, got, I, I watched the first 30 seconds. No. You smell? Did you just stop and smell yeah, your I, finger? I'm just thinking. <laughs> Because you've got to do that in life. Yeah. Remember, as you go through life, it. even if you're busy, stop where... and smell your finger. I feel like that's a T-shirt. Stop and smell your finger? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's a little uh, hutch on the way to Vegas. <laughs> this uh, new show is fantastic. All the kids are talking about it. It's crazy. It's number one in its time slot. Yeah. Yeah, it's a fun show. Uh, uh... Okay, good. So, uh... Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, the Talk Arrested therapist. Development, that was a great show that as well. That was show. a, man, that's a fantastic <laughs> show. You know, a fantastic show. Yeah. You know, you know that Jason that was on that show with you? God, you're going to have to refresh my memory. Well, yeah, I got muggly up hair, kind of yep, cute, girls it. like yeah, him. Yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah. right. So, he's never been on this show, and you know why? Because huh, he was on once when uh, Craig Kilborn was the host, and he hated it so much, he said, I'm never going back. I'm like, but I'm a different guy. He's like, yeah, I don't care. I, I think that he j it just confuses him, the Craig of it. Yeah, yeah. I mean. What about what about you? This is the first time you've been here. Sure, Did I yeah. upset you in some way? Not at all. I, just... didn't, I didn't know you before. All right, but we met in Canada. You met in Canada. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That was quite a it night. Is what you think? Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, we 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 met and we we lathered each other. Sure, we did. Uh, we met in Banff, Alberta. Yeah, that's a beautiful place. Yeah, isn't it's it? a nice place. Is, are you from there? Is that the part kind of that you're from? No, I'm from Toronto. Oh, the fun yeah. part. Yeah. Well. Oh really? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what? I was I was up in Canada last week, and what I thought was amazing is you're Canadian, so sure. tell me if this is true. Canadians aren't really that bothered by this. They're like, oh come on, it's yeah. <laughs> I, I think that they just want it to go away. Ah. So, so they're kind of like, yeah, 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 it's not a big deal. Anyway, God, it's crazy what's going on with your life. No, you know? no, yeah. it's not going to go away, yeah. though. No. no it's I, a I, lovely place, Toronto, though. It's a great city. Yeah, yeah. Do you still go up there a lot? Yeah. In yeah, the wintertime? I do. I go up at Christmas time to, to visit the folks. Do you wear uh, snowshoes? Um, Indoors? Just um, say no. Yeah. Um, uh, Are you and the horse have a thing going on? I didn't even know you knew each other. I have never met that horse in my life. <laughs> be cool, be cool. Be, 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 be cool. What's going on? Nothing. How come it's snowy behind time and it's not snowy here? What's going on? It's the other side of the hill. Right, okay. Because the clouds build up, but they don't actually make it over because it's like a basin. Um, <laughs> That you is actually what? true about it. LA, is, it is true. It I is didn't true. know. Are you very interested yeah. in weather? Is that a hobby? I'm of Canadian. Yours? Oh, yeah, yeah. In Canada, it's well, like. Well, in Canada, you, it's cold. My uh, dad will be like, it's the honey of a day, eh? And I'm like, yeah, sure is, but, you know. <laughs> Uh, but it, Canadians like to talk about the weather. Scottish people too. The, well, because it affects your day to day. Yeah. You know, it's, from it, getting from one place to you know. If, you might not get there. Yeah, you might not. If you're in Winnipeg, sometimes you have to go indoors around about October, and that's it until that's it. until. That, now that's where my people are from, from Winnipeg. Winnipeg, that's uh, a cold place. It is a cold place. I shaved my entire body there once. Did you? <laughs> okay, but not like to get on a flight or something. No, that's yeah, 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 it that's was to get on a flight. Sorry. No. It, it was, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was Air Canada. You know that rule they have. Uh, 
<laughs> well, they used to have their Air Canada's motto used to be, we're not happy unless you're not happy, right? Isn't right, it? yeah. So I, would, no, I think the motto was, we're not happy unless you're completely hairless, I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it made me laugh it's anyway. A yeah. Airline of choice. No, no I, was, I got snowed in. I, didn't know, I had yeah. nothing to do. It was before the internet and stuff, so I just uh, shaved myself. Shave. You ever shaved yourself? No, I haven't. But, you know, in my defense, I've never been snowed in in Winnipeg. Right. <laughs> well, you don't, you don't have to wait for that. You, sure. could just, you could do it in L.A. Probably somebody in L.A. that would wax you. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, they're lining up to shave. Yeah, yeah. Me. Are you, are you a very hairy man? I'm not. Uh, no. Come on now, hairy back a little bit? No, not at all. Oh, good. Good yeah. for you. Good for yeah. you. And I've never... Thank you. Yeah. I've never... Um, <laughs> I've never waxed. I, I waxed my arm once to Did see you? what it was like. Yeah. And? It's really painful. Yeah. Yeah. Because I thought, I'll try my arm and then if it's okay, I'll do, you know... <laughs> but I didn't. Right. Yeah. So it's like, I can't believe the pain of that. Sure, sure. Or if you, if you did, yeah. I, I, no, can't, I can't imagine. No, forget it. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, no, no. That's I, a non-starter. Yeah, I mean, also, luckily enough, I'm totally hairless. Yeah. Are you? Since the Winnipeg thing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just a thing. Did it grow back evenly? Well, sort of. Yeah. Did, it come, did it come in a little thicker? A little thicker, I think. Yeah. But I, I, might, I might just be making that up, you sure. know. Sure. I don't know. Do you believe that? I don't know. I don't know what I believe, Craig. <laughs> well, listen. Well, hold on a second. I, are you in therapy? Well, I could be, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I don't want <laughs> So, you don't know what you believe. I'm putting on a slight European accent. I think this will help you in your therapy. I just got back from Berlin. This is not... Dead? Yeah, two days ago, yeah. Wow, did you yeah. see Hasselhoff? Um... <laughs> I, I feel like they're all kind of Hasselhoff. Well, a little bit, yeah. You know? What were you doing? I, I've never been to Berlin. I really want to go there. I, I went there for no reason. How about that? Good for you. Yeah, man. yeah. I wanted to go, and I'm, I'm completely obsessed with the, the Stasi. Right. Oh, the uh, secret place. The secret oh, place, the, which is wow. fitting, because they're completely obsessed with everybody else. Yeah, they're, yeah. Uh, and but they're they, not there anymore, right? They're not there, no. Right. And uh, there were the secret police there, and they were, it was fascinating. Uh, they, they got into everybody's lives. By the, by the time the wall came down, there were 91,000 employees of the Stasi. Oh, my Lord. And it, there's no one left to spy on. No, I know. Yeah. They were just spying on each other. <laughs> like, That's really weird. Yeah. Why, why are you, are you, are you going to write about it or something? Uh, no, not necessarily. I, I was just, I've always been fascinated with... Uh, uh, that part of, you know, sort of bad Europe, yeah. uh, as I like to call it, just kind of Eastern Europe. Well, you know, have you ever been out to, to Russia? No, I've never been to Russia. Russia's amazing. You've got to yeah. go there. Amazing. And then uh, Hungary is an amazing yeah, place. Yeah, Hungary's where I want to go. I next. saw a gypsy dancing girl there. Yeah. <laughs> Hungary, actually, Budapest in Hungary is amazing. Yeah. It's ama amazing. Just, I, heard it's, I heard it's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. You can get really good uh, uh, things to eat. So, you, so you're, saying, you're saying go hungry? We'll be right back with Milan now, everybody. He's the funniest person I know, by far. Definitely. He's a brilliant guy. We're back. We're back. Now. We're back. Yeah, we're back. So let's just forget we said anything. No. <laughs> When you were in Berlin, yeah. uh, did you go to Hansa Studios? Boy, you go in and out of that accent. I, don't, I never know where. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll do it again. Yeah. When you were in Berlin... Here we are. Uh, did you go in and out of Hansa Studios? You no, know, I didn't go. And, uh, um, so you didn't I, record an album? I did not there, record an album. That's no, a shame. Have you ever seen that film Christian F.? No. It was in the early 80s. It's about uh, sort of, you know, heroin addiction in, in, in West Berlin. Stuff. Sounds like a riot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's uh, pretty yeah, dark. Yeah, it's a family picture. Yeah. Um, but Bowie does the music for it. Really? Uh, yeah, it's very cool. And, and Berlin, I, I, I tell you what that. summed it up. The last night that I was there, I, I was staying in part of sort of the, the old, uh, the former East Berlin. And the last night I was there, outside of the big theater that they had, it's like the Volkspol or whatever it is. It's huge. Ma Some of these buildings are so massive. Oh, the ones yeah, that survive. Like, yeah, yeah. Massive. And they're so intimidating. 
and um, and it was and it was such a perfect German building. And then right next to it was this tiny little building. that was all kind of glassed in. It looked like the front of a, a shop that was empty, but and it was night. And inside, projected from somewhere in the ceiling, was just this bizarre kind of video of people being afraid and screaming and mute. And and there was sound inside, but it was all glassed in. This building, standing on its own. I thought. That's exactly what I wanted to see in Germany. So weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Weird building with nobody in it and yeah. some bizarre moving playing inside. Well, it's, it's, this is a thing we don't talk about here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love that. I have to go. I wonder if it'll still be there. Yeah, it's very, well, yeah. who knows? But the Stasi Museum is fascinating. I'll go. I'll go. I like it a lot. They had these like little vans that they would go on the street and they would dress them up like delivery vans. But inside they had five tiny little cubicles like the size of this chair. And if they were looking for something, they'd just drive up, pretend that they were like doing delivery and grab you and stuff you in the back. Holy crackers. Yeah. That sounds like how I got this job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're out of time. Well, uh, the Millers uh, on CBS at 8.30. 8.30 on, on Thursday. All right. Well, our night, everybody. Um, says, Dear Craig, since you wrote the Late Late Show theme song, can you help me write a theme song for me and my boyfriend, Jonathan? Why? Of course we can. You yeah, ready? sure. Yeah. All right. It's you and your boyfriend, Jonathan, and you're sitting at home watching TV. You and your boyfriend, Jonathan, he does this to you. <laughs> or maybe he doesn't. I don't know what, where you are on that part of things. Not sure where you're going with this. So you and your boyfriend, Jonathan, Nice ending, though. Thanks, man. Yeah. I like that. Uh, you like that?